Just pens down for a moment and just look at the board. You see what I just did? Don't do that. You have been asked to prove this, right? You've been asked to prove it. Show that it is true. In other words, you don't know that it's true yet. <laughs> You're supposed to end there. You can't start there. You can't begin with this as your first line, okay? If you do want to write down the question, because it's helpful to have it in front of you rather than your back and forth and all that kind of thing, which I like to do, then out the front here, and I am happy for you to write that, is RTP, which is a pretty well-recognized acronym for required to prove, okay? In other words, what I'm saying, I'm not saying it's true, I don't know that yet, but that's where I'm headed, okay? So, here's what I'm required to prove. How am I going to go about doing it? Yeah, you have an idea, please, just like, Okay, so immediately you can see, oh, look, I recognize some stuff. In fact, a lot of this will come down to, at the beginning, knowing these things and starting to muck about with them and use them. Okay, But before I even get to that, let me pedal back a little bit. It's tempting to write this down and then start to manipulate. But this is what I said you cannot do. The first thing you've got to do is start with one side of the equation and then work with that until you get to the other side. Now, I've chosen to start with the left-hand side. You can start with the right, if you like. In some examples I'm going to show you, I will. Can anyone suggest to me, why might we want to start on the left rather than the right? Yeah, Nadine, what do you reckon? It's got more stuff to work with. Yeah, very good. Your, uh, your brains have been wired for the last however many years to simplify things, to take something that's messy and work with it until it looks simpler. You can do it in the opposite direction. If you can start with something simple and make it messy, but it, it doesn't really gel with the way our brains are sort of wired to work. It's a lot more difficult. So I suggest you start with what looks messy and then work from there, okay? So I'm gonna write down the left-hand side. I'd love you to do the same. Write it as it is. Don't do any manipulation to it just yet, okay? Now what you wanna do is keep one eye on what you're working on and your other eye on where you're going, okay? Think back to when we were doing binomial theorem and you got asked to prove, you know, this, you know, this C, this C, this, plus this C, that equals some other thing with factorials in it, okay? You've got to know where you're heading rather than just simplifying blindly. I want to get a sine theta on a numerator and a cos theta on the denominator. Okay, so what can I do here? Now I'd like to take a suggestion. Yeah. Um, six squared theta minus one equals ten theta based on identity. Okay, so you can see over here, I pointed out, if you take the Pythagorean identity, the original one, the primary one, and you massage it a little bit, then you get all these sort of like, you know, parallel universe versions of the Pythagorean identity. And this exact one fits into here, right? So I can write instead of cot theta, uh, sorry, instead of six squared theta minus one, I can write cot theta times 10 squared theta. Are you happy? Sorry? Uh, times. No, n. Oh, it's just a bad n, that's all. <laughs> just a messy n. Okay. Now, I wonder if you can see now how this is going to pan out, right? This is a proof. This is a proof. So even if you can see it and you're like, oh, cool, bam, I'm just going to write down the answer. We already know what the answer is going to be. So the burden is on you to show why it is what it is. So here's what I would do to make it really obvious. I would convert cot into cos on sine. Actually, no, one on tan is better because it's, it's just as simple, right? I've got the reciprocal there. I've got tan, I've got two of them there. And now that's, that's pretty obvious, right? Do you agree? Like everyone can see that, whereas not everyone will recognize that. So that's where I was trying to go equals the right hand side. I'm finished. Okay? So I started with the messy thing, then I went to the simple thing. And I'm done. That's it. Now please make sure you start on one side and then move to the other. Lots of people, they look at this and then they just start working on it. They're like, oh, I'll multiply both sides by cos. And then I'll like move this to the other side and it just becomes a dog's breakfast. Okay? Move from left to right or right to left, and you're done. Which side are you starting with? Left hand side. Sometimes it's just slap in the face obvious which side you should begin with. I will come in later lessons to when it's not so obvious, but for now, let's just deal with using the identities and recognizing them. The left hand side is clearly a disaster. It's got two things I can combine them, and hopefully this is where I end up. Okay. 
Okay. Now, they're two fractions, so what is an instinct for you to do? Get a common denominator, and then you can combine them into one. You should know that's where you're headed, because look, over on the right hand side, there's one object there. So clearly, two are going to have to melt together. What is the common denominator that will work? One minus sine squared theta. Do you notice that? Because look, if I multiply this by one minus sine theta, multiply this by one plus sine theta, you've got difference of squares, yes? So I'm just going to do that now. I've got one minus sine theta. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Now, let me say this again. What's being assessed here is can you, number one, recognize what you can do with this thing? You can see it's actually sort of blurring the lines a little bit between algebra and trigonometry. Getting that difference of squares thing, that's an algebra thing. Well, it can work in trigonometry too. And because we've got the Pythagorean identity, which is all about squares, you're actually going to see that a heck of a lot. Okay? Oh, not only am I assessing your ability to recognize things and manipulate, I also want to assess your ability to communicate clearly. So, see what happened from here to here. I didn't do that at the same time as converting the denominator. I just want to make it really obvious what each step is about. I should be able to see <coughs> from your working, oh, okay, from this line to this line, he understands how to combine fractions. From this line to this line, he's used a Pythagorean identity. From this line to this line, she knows what the reciprocals are, and then there she is. 